Hey everybody, Top Water Johnny, and in this bass fishing video, I'll be fishing with one of my classics, the Gizmo. The bass are biting and they're hitting top water, so we're gonna see what the Gizmo can do today. Let's go. Whoa, there we go. Yeah! Woo, holy cow, folks. Top Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! And that one. Hooked. Hey everybody, Top Water Johnny here. We are out at the lake and we're going to be fishing with this gizmo and we're going to see what we can do with it. Uh, there's opportunities out here for sure. I think they're, they're kind of busting. Not the biggest bass are busting, but some are busting. So we're gonna go out here, fish with this little gizmo. that I've, I've featured it before in past videos here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fish with that because it's sunny out and they're definitely hitting the top water and chasing insects. So let's see what happens. All right. There we go. There we go. Nice big explosion, everybody, on that one. Nice big explosion. All right. Nice big explosion on that one. All right. That's a better one. That's definitely a better one. There we go. On that gizmo right there. There we go, everybody. This one really exploded on it. It's not the biggest bass, but whenever we're talking top water and they're hitting it, we gotta go with it. So no complaints on this one right here. And it's probably just a little bit below a pound right here. So no complaints. All right. All right, everybody. There he is, that little gizmo. Got this one, all right. There we go. There we go. Oop. Ooh, that little one. That little one threw that one away. All right, well, you saw that one, everybody. He threw that little one, threw that little one. The little one threw it away, but that's okay. He was small, but aggressive, and he was ready to strike that gizmo. So we're just gonna keep on going and see what we can make happen. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Another little one here, but that's okay. We don't have any complaints. All right. No complaints. A little one, but they're hitting that top water. There we go. There we go. There. Come on out of there. There we go. Woo! There we go, everybody. Another nice one here. Definitely a bigger one. Oh, bigger one. And they are on it. All right. There he is right there. Nice one right there, no complaints. All right, everybody. Well, this one's a little bit better one here again. Almost a pound, but no complaints here. Hit that top water gizmo pretty aggressive, so we're gonna keep on going. All right. All right, there he is right there. Nice one, okay. There we go. On the drop. 
Woo! On the drop. On the drop. Get in the weeds. Get in the weeds. Here we go. In the drop. All right. All right. In the weeds. <laughs> On the drop, everybody. Look at that. We finally got one. We got one here. He couldn't resist it. <sighs> Look at this nice one. Look at that. On that gizmo. Right there on the drop. Didn't even get in the water good. He already hit it. Wow. That is a nice one. Whoo. Thank goodness. Been getting all these little ones. And we finally got a nice one right there. Hey everybody, talk with Johnny here. Look at this one right here. Over a pound and a half on that little gizmo fly. Just out the gate. First throw. We already took it. So we have no complaints. All right. All right, everybody. Talk with Johnny here. Look at this nice one right here on that gizmo. No complaints on that gizmo. All right. Hey everybody, right on the drop. As soon as that fly hit the water, boom, he already he already punched it and we're out the gate here. So we've gotten a bunch of little ones in this video, but we got a good one there. Pound and a half, almost two pounds. So there is no complaints on that one right there. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! Another one on that gizmo. On that gizmo. Woo! On the gizmo. He exploded on it. There he is. Not as big as the last one. Not as big as the last one. But he got it. <clears throat> he got it right there in the side of his mouth. All right. All right. There he is. On that gizmo. All right. No complaints. Hey everybody, saw where Johnny, not as big as the last one, but still a nice one nonetheless. On that little gizmo, they want them flies. They see them little dragonflies and they can't resist it. So we make it happen every time with those dragonflies. All right. All right, everybody, there we go. Nice one, there we are. All right. Hey everybody, talk with Johnny here. Hey, we out here today. Decided to take the gizmo out one more day just to see what I could do with it. And it's a cloudy, windy day. But as you can see, but that top water is still working. They're still keying on it. They're still looking up. So we're just going to kind of go with it for right now and just see what we can make happen here. But we've already got a couple today. So there's no complaints on that. So we'll just see what happens. All right. There we go. There we go. Right on the drop. Another one, right on the drop. There we go, right on the drop, everybody. Woo, right on the drop, that gizmo. Right there on the drop, as soon as he saw it hit, he was all over it. All right. All right, there he is, right there. Okay. All right, everybody. We keep on moving here. Another one on the gizmo. As soon as it dropped, he was all over it. So no complaints. So we'll just keep on going. All right. All right. There we go. Nice one. There we go. Not a big one, but all right. We'll take them. Not a big one. But he wanted it, all right. All right, 
little one there. There we go. There we go. Got that one. There we go. Nice one right there. <clears throat> Took that one down. Nice and deep on that one right there. All right. Hey everybody, Top Water Johnny. I hope you enjoyed this video here. What we're gonna do now that we've done fish with the gizmo is we're gonna take it back to the studio, back to the office, and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and kind of do like a final debriefing on the gizmo. So let's go. All right, everybody, here it is. The Gizmo by Evergreen here. Just some quick specs on it here real fast. The actual length is 1.5 inches long in length. The actual weight is three and 64 ounces. Now, one of the things I wanna show you here with this one is that it's a really light lure. And as you can see, it's got one hook right here. This is a really stout hook that runs through the entire body of the actual gizmo. But then also, well, another thing that's very unique about this is look at that right there. That is an actual weed guard that is actually protecting that hook as it actually runs through cover. And so this particular lure right here has a lot of advantages in the water column as far as when you're trying to mimic a bug or an insect right here. And I wanted to show you these unique things. As you can see, the belly is white on the bottom of it. These wings right here are very stout and they stick out. But then you have all of these other little appendages which are dangling in the water like an insect. It even has the little thorax there the, at the back of it, just like a real bug. And according to the description, this is supposed to be mimicking a actual dragonfly. So there you have it. There is the evergreen gizmo. All right. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Jack here. I hope you enjoyed that video there. Even right at the end of the video, as you saw, I wanted to give you a closer look at the evergreen gizmo so you could get a closer look at it once again. This is a lure that I have featured in the past. And if you look at my description box, you'll see a link in the box of a past video I produced on this lure here. But this gizmo here, and as you can see, my gizmo is really beaten up because the bass were just hammering it. This lure really works in the springtime when those insects are on top and the bass are truly busting. It's going into spring down here in Florida. So those bass are really keen on insects and things on top of the water and they're chasing things. So that's why this proved to be a really effective lure. I even have even more footage, but it's a lot of smaller bass and I didn't want to put all those small bass in this video. So I wanted to put the ones that were just the bigger fish and the ones that I thought really reflected the gizmo the best. So that's why you saw what you saw in it. Now, with that in mind, the one thing I want you to keep in mind is that no matter where you're going to be fishing at throughout the year in the country, all bass eat insects. And because they eat insects, you need an insect type lure that can help you improve your get more catches, basically. But also, this lure here has a great hookup ratio as well. But you want an insect lure, something that reflects and matches the hatch of what they see. Because I'm telling you, you'll have a lot of fun fishing this type of top water lure. Now, this particular lure right here, I got from the hookup tackle. So that's where I bought it from, and it's a definitely worth the investment to get one. Also, as far as specs are concerned, I was fishing it on a seven foot medium rod, spinning tackle with eight pound braid. And so that's what I was fishing it on because it is really a light lure, and you're gonna need some lighter tackle to throw it. Now I threw it on braid, but you could throw it on monofilament as well and just enjoy yourself with it because you will have a lot of fun fishing with this lure. Okay, and lastly, coming up, I'm doing another lure review at the end of the week here. You're going to love this lure review. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy it. It kind of sticks with the theme of everything that's going on 
in the movies, just a hint, hint. And I want you to be sure that you check out the lure review on Thursday because I promise you, you will enjoy how I do this review. So, and lastly, I just want to thank all of my new subscribers and current subscribers for being a part of the journey. So please like, subscribe to the channel because that always helps as I continue to work to grow the channel. And I really am thankful for each and every one of you guys and your comments and your thoughts. And also, please leave a comment below about the Evergreen Gizmo. What's your thoughts about it? Have you ever fished with it? Are you thinking about getting one? Just give me your thoughts. As you already know, if you leave a comment, I will reply back to you. So I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to the channel, being part of the journey. And I want you to always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.